Hello and welcome to World Introvert Day, January the 2nd. Certainly Felicitas Hay knew what she was doing when she decided that January the 2nd was going to be World Introvert Day. Because for most of us, that's the moment when the world kind of goes back into its normal kind of orbit, really, because if you've had friends and family around, they've gone home. Many people are going back into the office today, back to work today. So the world is kind of returning to normal. And it's the day that most introverts can exhale and breathe out. Now, for the past probably four or five years, I've always run a special session, a webinar, a masterclass, something on World Introvert Day designed just for the introverts. And this year, I realized that actually we need something else, not necessarily for the introverts this time. They've still got their masterclass coming up this evening, and it's about finding wholesome resilience. But if we're really going to shift the extroversion bias and help people understand we introverts more, because let's face it, we make up 50 percent of any population. So we're not a minority by any means, but we need to do more to help people understand introverts. So this year, I've decided that I'm going to pop in to do a few lives throughout World Introvert Day, throughout today, talking about um, some or answering some of the questions that people often ask. And they're usually frustrations that people have about introverts. And to the first one that I'm going to uh, talk about today is why do friends cancel at the last minute? Or worse than that, they say they're going to turn up and they just don't show up. So Many people get frustrated by this. And I, what I wanted to do was address why this happens. For many introverts, it's about finding the right amount of energy to be able to attend those social functions, attend whether it was a party, a networking event, a meeting, maybe just a one to one get together with over coffee, even. It can be something as simple as that. And Oh, I've just seen a great comment that's come up here from um, August saying, I suspect rather than the minority, introverts are a ma majority in the closet. Could well be, could well be. Because the world and society and business, you know, forces us into that kind of extrovert ideal, which isn't helpful for many of us. So if I'm going to show up to an event, I need to make sure that I've got enough charge in my mental, my emotional and my social batteries to be able to be present at the event. So not just to turn up, but to be really present. And so the reason that many of us will drop off at the last minute is because we do a quick scan of those batteries and realise that, mm -mm, I haven't got what it takes to be there and to be fully present. I, you know, I could show up, I could, I could be there, but not actually properly engage. Another comment come in from August. Yeah, I've seen my husband's anxiety before events. Oh, and it is it can be quite heartbreaking to see because you know quite often that introverts like me, and it sounds like um, August's husband as well, really want to be there. We want to be invited. We don't hate people. We're not misanthropes. We just know that unless we have the right charge in our battery, it's going to be too big a price for us to pay because we're going to go from overwhelm into possibly introvert hangover where we need a duvet day or two just to recover. And depending what else we've got scheduled, what else we've got going on in our calendar, that can be too big a price to pay. So the reason that many introverts will drop out at the last minute is because they don't have we don't have the charge in our batteries. Now, ideally, and this is one of the things I cover on my programs, we need to develop the confidence to be able to say to people I know I said I was going to come, but actually I, I don't have the bandwidth. I don't have the capacity at the moment to be there. So I hope you have a brilliant time and please invite me next time because, you know, I, I am interested. I just don't have the bandwidth at the moment. 
However, I know from feedback from many of my clients is that they won't say that because they are often kind of bullied and cajoled and sometimes shamed into feeling they ought to be there. So there's a lack of respect for the boundaries that the introvert is rightly putting in place. So because they fear that and because the fear is based in reality, quite often that's what's happened, they'll just decide last minute not to show. Flourishing introverts learn how to articulate their boundaries, articulate their needs, and be able to have those adult conversations with people where they can say, I know I said I'd be there, but on this occasion I won't be, but please invite me in the future. So notice that we don't necessarily even apologise. We apologise or we should apologise when we've done something wrong. Not having enough charge in my battery, okay, I could say I've done something wrong in that I didn't take the time to pre-charge enough beforehand. But actually, I'm not doing something wrong by holding a boundary clear. So if you've got introverted friends and they have a habit of not showing up at the last moment, next time when you invite them, how about saying, I understand that you might not have the bandwidth or the capacity to be there. And if that's the case, please let me know so that I'm not worried about you. So we're making it then okay. We're making those kind of proper adult conversations okay. So there's my quick first ask the introvert answer to perhaps why your friends don't show up or why they cancel at the last moment. And if you are inviting them, don't stop because many of us want to turn up, but make it okay for us to feel that we're not obliged to be there if our mental batteries are not sufficiently charged. So nice quick one for question one. Pop back later when I'll be asking um, or answering a question that somebody else raised, which is why do people turn up to meetings and then not say anything? It's a typical thing that happens for we introverts. So I'm going to be asking, answering that question and also giving you a chance to think about meeting behaviours and how maybe they need to be different. So thanks for joining me this time. And I look forward to seeing you next round, which will be in maybe about 90 minutes time, something like that. Take care.